In this video, I'm going to be reviewing and testing out the Ninja Foodie Power Nutri Duo, which is the smoothie bowl maker and nutrient extractor. So let's get started. Inside the box, you'll find the base, two Power Nutri cups with spout lids, there is a Power Nutri bowl, and the hybrid edge blades. And it also comes with this little recipe book, which has about 15 recipes in there, so it gives you some ideas to start with. On the smoothie bowl maker, you'll see indications for a maximum fill line and also the liquid line. So this will help you get the right consistency for the smoothie bowl. And the auto IQ programs are just preset programs for extract smoothie, which you'll use the power cup for and then spread and bowl where you'll use the power bowl. There's also a manual pulse button and a start and stop button if you didn't want to use the auto IQ programs. Underneath the base there are these two really powerful suction feet that just stick to the counter. Um, it's actually quite hard to even pull off sometimes but uh, it's only two and they are to make sure that the machine doesn't move because the power blending is so powerful. And here is just the inside of the base in case you're wondering what the inside looks like. Use the extract feature first. I'm going to use fresh fruit, leaving all the skins on. So for apple, peaches, plums, add in some juice and some ice at the end. You want to add the ice at the end so that it's closer to the blades. And press extract. You may freak out a few times in the beginning, but uh, you get used to it after a while. So the timer will count down and it will just pause and start as it needs to, which is where the smart talk technology kicks in. Okay, so 75 seconds later and I do have this juice extract. It is quite thick, I guess I could always add more juice to it or ice to it. It does take a few tries to try and get the consistency right. And it will depend on the fruits and vegetables that you're adding in there. And you can also add in your own protein powders if you wanted to. Okay, so moving on to the smoothie, I'm going to add in half a cup of milk. Add some Greek yogurt to this, add in some honey and since I used plain flavoured Greek yogurt I'm just going to add in some vanilla essence. Add in my frozen fruit, so mangoes, bananas and then press the smoothie. And if you guys are new to my channel do consider subscribing, I bring out videos every week. And you can also follow me on Instagram and like me on Facebook. Okay, so 55 seconds later and we have this quite thick smoothie. Um, I think half a cup of milk was a little too less, so next time I'll add more liquid to it. I kind of used one of the recipes from the recipe book which called for half a cup only, but again, I think it depends on what fruits you're using. So because I used mango and banana, which is already quite thick and creamy, I should actually add some more milk to it uh, next time. But uh, yeah, other than that, it's blended it really well. And I can just put on my spout lid here and just take it to go or just drink it directly from here instead of dirtying another glass. Okay, let's make a smoothie bowl. I'm going to add in some milk up to the maximum liquid line here. Add in my frozen fruit, bananas, strawberries and some blueberries. 
press smoothie bowl and it's showing 30 seconds and as it's blending then you want to turn the paddles on the top here so this will constantly keep everything moving as long as you keep turning it so for 30 seconds you're just going to have to keep on turning it turning it turning it um, if you're okay with that your hand probably will get tired as well but you do have to keep turning it counterclockwise to make sure that the food doesn't get stuck to the sides of the bowl and you should end up with this thick creamy smoothie where if you flip it over it nothing would fall out uh, but once I do pour it into a bowl I do find that it does slip off the spoon so uh, maybe it's because I'm using a steel spoon I don't know um, but uh, it is starting to get a little runny probably because it's been a few minutes as well and if I take it all out I just want to show you inside the bowl that it has blended everything and lastly using the spread I'm going to use one cup of roasted almonds with two tablespoons of canola oil press the spread and you will have 45 seconds on the clock and continuously turn the power paddle counterclockwise now the recipe in the book does say that if you want to smooth the consistency for the nut butters you may need to run the program twice So after running the program twice, I'm still left with this slightly crunchy texture to the almond butter. So you can see here it's not smooth at all. I probably need to run it one more time to see if it comes out smoother. And just to show you the bottom of the bowl once I've emptied it all out, uh, nothing's left inside there. It has blended everything. The only thing is that it's going to be quite difficult to clean, especially once you've added the oil in there. You'll find the spread kind of stuck in between the paddles. So, so as you're washing the bowl, you'll just need to keep turning the paddle so that you can uh, get in between the paddle and the bowl. So overall, it's a great design. It's nice and small and compact. I'm able to store it in my cupboard and just take it out easily. It's not heavy at all. So I must admit the first time we did use it we weren't prepared for how powerful the machine was that we were a little startled by the loud sound of it. My poor parrot uh, freaked out. So just a little word of warning that it's a little louder than your usual blender I would say because it's so powerful. Other than the loud sound I think that's the biggest thing that's off-putting because especially if you have a small kids in the house, a baby in the house, or you can't even use it first thing in the morning if you want to use it after doing a workout, if you're living in a small apartment. These are the, these are the things that you just have to remember that it is really loud. Um, I'm really excited to use it though. Definitely smoothies. I'm really looking forward to using it in the summer. Smoothie bowls maybe just depends as well. Kids prefer to drink rather than eat. Well, my kids anyway. And I have to remember when making smoothie bowls to stay next to it and just turn the paddle. Otherwise, um, it'll all stick to the bowls. I have this tendency to just run something and walk away from it and come back and expect it to be done. But you do have to stand there and continuously turn the paddle when you're making the smoothie bowl. Otherwise, it'll all just stick to the sides of the bowl. Anyway, guys, I hope you found this review useful. Please don't forget to leave a like and a comment. And I hope to catch you in my next video.